who command displays, who logged in. To help us understand who in detail, let me open three different sessions. This is terminal zero. The execution on this terminal is going to be halted for 3000 seconds. Let me open another duplicate session with a root user. I'm opening a third terminal. I opened three different terminals, one with normal user, two with root user. Each terminal is running a process called sleep command and it's actually waiting. Now let me open a session with a normal user. Let me make a note of these details in a notepad. Ravi user, PTS0, running a command called sleep 3000. So this is the information of the three sessions that I have opened and the commands they are running. Now from the fourth terminal, from this fourth terminal, if I run a command called who, if I run a command called who, it shows me the information about these four terminals. PTS0 is of Ravi user. PTS1, PTS2 belongs to root user. Of course, PTS3 is my current session in which I have ran a command called who. This shows when that session started and from what IP address the connection came. This is my local IP address. This session is something to do with the VMware. Let's take a look at manual page of who. Who shows who is logged on. There are some options you can use it with who, hyphen A, hyphen B, like this. Who takes some more options such as a file, a single argument, or couple of arguments as argument one, space, argument two. I will talk about this file as part of environment variable section. Because you need to understand two files called utemp and wtemp. These actually holds the information of users who currently logged in and the login logout history. Let me show you some variants of who. It tells me the load. There are five sessions on the system, five terminals open. These are all the different users. Who minus B tells me when was the last time system rebooted. You can compare this time with the date. Of course, the simplest way to also figure out is uptime. One information that who does not show is what this specific session is doing. If you look at my notepad here, the first session is running a command called sleep 3000. Second session is running a command called sleep 2000. But when you run a command called who, it does not show what a specific session is doing. That is the objective of W command. When you run a command called W, 
in addition to the basic information such as user from what terminal from what ip address what time they logged in the cpu information it also shows what is the command the user is running very useful right this is the command i have run from the fourth terminal that is a pts3 if i press up arrow i can repeat the previous command i am running w one more time if i go to man w w shows who is logged on and what they are doing this is the major difference between who command and w command w command also shows sessions specific to a specific user session specific to a specific user when you do the same thing with who you don't have any such option with w if you pass a user id it shows ravi has only these two sessions this option with w will quickly help you understand who is on the system what a specific person is doing how many sessions a specific user opened very useful command when you are troubleshooting some kind of load issues on a server that's it for this lecture